Hey guys, Roger here. So, last year I built this YouTube studio or my garden office and I did this with wooden pallets, well at least for the main frame. The reason was, when I started making videos on this channel, I was in my living room, which was fine for a while, but eventually I needed a dedicated space like this, not just for videos, but also for my freelance work. So the studio's done, I'm in here now, and everything is great, and today, I just wanted to talk about how I have things set up and I also want to talk about some of the tech that I'm using as well. If you have any questions about any of the gear you see in this video, just drop me a comment down below. And also, you know what? Drop me a comment down below and let me know what you think of the studio now I've had some time to make some changes in here. Okay, so this time one year ago, I hadn't even started building this garden office. And now, almost one year later, this is where I film everything for the YouTube channel. And as I said, it's where I do my freelance work. So I edit video for other creators on YouTube, but I also do some graphic design work and a little bit of website work. Everything is done though in here. There's no doubt about it. This is the best and only thing I've ever built, and I'm really very happy with it. Honestly, I am, apart from just one thing. I just wish it was a bit bigger. The studio is five meters long and three meters wide, but that's the biggest I could make it. That's all the space I had. Honestly though, I am very happy with it. So let me tell you about security because that's an important thing. That was an issue that I did need to address right at the start. So if somebody starts sniffing around in the middle of the night, let's say, Obviously, I want to know about that. So I decided to get the Ring Alarm System, which is an Amazon company. And for me, actually, it's a good system because it integrates with the Ring doorbell. And if you have them, the Ring cameras too. You can control the system using the Ring keypad, and I've got one of those here with me, but there's an app as well on iOS and Android. Very easy to use the app as well. So this Ring alarm system comes with a base station which has a loud siren, and it also acts as the main hub for all of the other parts of the alarm system, such as motion sensors, and also door and window contact sensors. So the motion sensors will detect movement in a room and the door and window contact sensors will know if a window or a door has been opened. So very good, I like the way all of that works. You can also choose to have a delay before the alarm is triggered. That does give you, let's say, 30 seconds. Actually, you can adjust that, but you get about 30 seconds, let's just say, to get into a room and disable the alarm. In the studio though, so in here, there is no delay. That alarm is coming on immediately. The base station does need to be connected to the power all of the time, but the motion and door and window sensors, all of those things have batteries. Oh, and the keypad as well. And they last for quite a long time as well, months at a time. So it's actually really easy to install them anywhere. No wires needed. I like that. That's quite cool. The next thing to talk about then in here is the lighting, because a lot of people have asked me about that, surprisingly. Uh, but most of the lighting in here is by LifeX. Now they make some really cool lights. They do different things like bulbs and strip lights and so on. But the nice thing about these is you can just add a splash of color wherever you need it, and you can also control them with Google Assistant. Now the app allows you to control the color of each bulb or light strip individually, but you know you can make these scenes where you can pre-program the color of every single bulb so you can change the way the entire room looks very quickly. I like them because you can add a splash of color when you're filming products, so that's good for videos. But also when you're filming stuff like this, I think it makes the background look nice, so they're pretty good. The other lights I use while I'm shooting video like this are fairly cheap soft boxes that you'll find, for example, on Amazon. They don't cost a lot and they come with a tripod, which is good. The tripods do tend to get in the way. So when you're in a bit of a smaller space like this in here, I actually found that it was easier to mount these lights up in the air. So I went onto Amazon, I found some of these brackets and that's it. The lights are on brackets up in the air, no more stands to worry about. So that's cool. The most annoying thing I was dealing with when I first started to film videos in here was my voice was literally bouncing off of the walls. It sounded awful in here. So I decided to use some acoustic foam panels. I have about 60 panels in here all around the room in different places. So I'll start off with my main desk. So behind the desk, you can see there's quite a few of them on the wall. And also by my second desk, I use that setup for gaming, streaming, sometimes product shots. 
But what I actually did over there was I made a thin wooden frame, very cheap to do this, so it's quite cool. I made a thin wooden frame, I glued the panels onto the frame, and really simply just stuck some RGB strips behind them, which I think, it looks nice, something different. Those RGB strips are by a company called Govi. Uh, you can control them using the Govi app, and also you get a remote control with them as well. So there's a few different ways you can control them. My favorite color is purple, so they don't change. They're just on purple, and that's pretty much the color theme of this channel, really, so that's why. But you know, if you wanted them a different color, it's easy to do it. You can do it with the app, you can do it with the remote, so that's cool. So that desk is over there. However, at the other end of the room behind me is a sofa which is very nice, come from Ikea, but actually the really cool thing at that end of the room is these 3D panels. They look so cool. I really love these panels. Again, from Amazon, lots of people have been asking me about them. So there's another link to those in the description below as well. So that's acoustic foam and was on the walls. Let me talk to you quickly about the desks. So this is my main desk. The tabletop comes from Ikea. I believe it's called the Carlby. This is the oak version. And that's simply sat on two white Alex drawers. It's the main desk I use for editing video, like this one that you're watching now. I did that at this desk. Uh, and I'm using the Mac Mini M1 for video editing. That's hooked up to this really awesome BenQ EX3501R ultra wide monitor. That monitor is intended really for gaming. Color accuracy is not one of its selling points, really. So I'd love to upgrade that monitor at some point, but we all know they're quite expensive. But for now, it's so wide and I can stretch the timeline right across that huge display. So I love that when I'm editing video, you've got so much room to play around with. I also have the Mac Mini hooked up to some powered Mackie speakers, which are on stands. I'd love to replace those speakers soon as well, but right now, that's what I have. All the way over to the other desk then, where I said I play games and sometimes stream, I also use that for top-down shots. But the thing you're gonna notice over here is the enormous PC case. It's actually the biggest PC case I have ever seen in my life. I've never seen one this big, it's huge. And just to try and show you how big it is, I put my iPhone 11 Pro Max on the desk. That should give you a rough idea of just how much of a beast this PC case is, it's crazy. Anyway, that acts as a gaming PC, a Plex server, and also storage for all of the footage that I shoot, like this with the camera, and all of that footage gets stored on that server. So that's quite cool. It's got about 26 terabytes of storage. And this awesome custom side panel as well with the Life of Tech logo, that is just, I love that, it's so good. That was done by a friend of mine in Austria called Ron. I'm gonna leave a link to his channel below as well. If you're into that kind of thing, definitely check out his channel. He's got some cool videos there. So that pretty much sums up today's video. I just wanted to show you guys what I've done in here, uh, the changes I've made, and I'd love to know what you think. So just go down there in that comment section, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. I'd like to say a big thank you for checking out the video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do that. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.